When talking about proof for Christ's existence, one of the strongest arguments that can be made is in the thousands of manuscripts that compose what is the New Testament. To date, there are approximately 5,800 manuscripts at our disposal that make up the works of the Christian canon. To make a comparison, we'll be looking at manuscripts from other ancient writings and see how they compare with the Gospels and Epistles of the New Testament. Plato's Tetralogies, written in 384 to 382 BC, has 210 to 250 manuscripts to support his work, with the earliest copy from 900 AD. The Histories by Herodotus, originally authored in 425 BC, has 8 manuscripts, and the earliest copy is 900 AD. History by Thucydides, written 460 AD, containing 50 copies. Oldest copy is 900 AD. Julius Caesar's accounts of the Gaelic War was written in 44 BC, has 251 manuscripts, and the earliest one is dated 1000 AD. Livy's History of Rome has 150 manuscripts, originally penned in 60 BC, and its oldest is 400 AD. This is the best example so far. Tacitus's Annals, written in 100 BC, has 33 manuscripts, and its earliest copy is 850 AD. The works of Aristotle has 1,000 manuscripts, while being written in 384 BC, and the earliest copy we can get our hands on is 850 AD. There are so many other examples of highly accredited historical documents that are just assumed to be reliable, while they make up a sliver of the manuscript data size the Bible has. These Christian Greek manuscripts which even go into the 4th to 5th century, are known primarily as the Byzantine text line, descended through many churches over two millennia, and originated from Antioch, Syria. This line of manuscripts were responsible for that of the Textus Receptus that was circulated for the Protestant Bibles of Martin Luther, William Tyndale, and then eventually the King James Bible in 1611 which this channel uses as its final authoritative standard of the scriptures in English for all matters of faith and practice. Psalm 12 verses 6 to 7 The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever.